Hello, Wonder Hussy here. Finally back out on another expedition into the middle of nowhere, my favorite place. This time I'm headed to check out a waterfall. That's right, somebody tipped me off to the presence of a waterfall somewhere out here in this arid, unforgiving landscape. I mean, you can see I'm parked right here in the middle of the road because there ain't no traffic, but on the right hand side of the car, there's nothing but sand and sagebrush as far as the eye can see. And on the left hand side of the car, there's nothing but sand and sagebrush as far as the eye can see. So like I said, it doesn't seem like a very likely place for a waterfall, but supposedly there is a waterfall somewhere around here. I think maybe up in those mountains there behind me. And I'm gonna go check that out. <laughs> but on the way there, well, just in case the waterfall has done gone dry, I thought I'd check out a couple other ruins that I had pinned on my map in the area. Okay, wow. Definitely some old mining wreckage, uh, or milling wreckage, I guess. Uh, this looks like some kind of, well, it's got that gear or flywheel or whatever on the end. Like, was this some kind of rotary kiln? Oh gosh, I don't know what I'm talking about. It just, it's laying on its side. It looks like it was meant to turn around. So the only thing I have to compare it with is a, an abandoned cement factory that I used to go do modeling shoots at. And well, it had a big rotary kiln and it kind of looked something like this. I mean, there's a big gear on one end and it's a long cylinder. And then it looks like there was probably something on this end to like turn it or crank it or something. Oh, look, here's a, oh, I'm so bad with this kind of stuff. That's a flywheel, I feel like. And that big thing is like a gear. Oh my goodness, look at this. Very Mad Max, just baking away out here in the desert. Forgotten and abandoned. Look at this, wow. Let's see if we can look in here. Oh yeah, you sure can. You can see all the way through to the other side. Look at that. Oh, I bet there's a really good echo in here. Let's see. Hello! Anyone home? Nobody's home. Just the way I like it. One more place to look in this little window here. Oh wow, yeah, look, it's lined with brick. So I bet you anything it was some kind of kiln. And then there's all these little stones at the bottom. They were baking for some purpose. Or I don't know, some kind of rotary furnace kiln. Woo-wee, your guess is as good as mine. Actually, your guess is probably a hundred times better than mine. Okay, well that was definitely worth checking out. To be honest, that wasn't even one of the piles of junk that I had pinned on my map. I have a, looks like an old shack or something up here. So let's get in the car and go check that out next. And then let's go try to find this waterfall. I am so curious how there could be a waterfall in this barren, arid, godforsaken desert. Just saw something else interesting, and it's still not the thing I have pinned. It's an old wrecked car. What do you suppose this was? I mean, I'd guess this was like an old Studebaker or something like that, but I know nothing about cars. Just some lonely old wreck sitting out here in the middle of this gorgeous desert. I mean, look at this beautiful desert. Waterfalls somewhere back there against that mountain. I have a feeling this road here might lead us right to it. But first I gotta go try to find this one last ruin. Oh wait, hold on, I just found something else interesting. It's a beer can, and this is a can I've never seen before. Okay, I know you're probably going, oh God, another beer can, but look, this is interesting, because I don't know if you can tell, it says press first, press second. So it wasn't like a pull tab, it was some kind of weird can that you pressed in on two sides. Boy, that's a first for me, and I even have a field guide to beer cans that one of my viewers sent me, it tells you, you know, what years they did the pull tabs between, what years they did the pop tabs, what years they used a church key. This wasn't even on that field guide. So if you ever drank a beer like this, please comment below and let us know when, where, and did it get you into her pants? Well, golly, when I said this looked like a ruin, I wasn't kidding. It's nothing but a pile of rubble. Man, I swear this looked more interesting on Google Maps. Maybe it's recently collapsed and it was a little cabin or something until uh, well, I guess this is a good time to mention that I'm right outside the perimeter of the Nevada Test and Training Range, AKA 
Area 51, which Area 51 is just one area of this vast swath of South Central Nevada desert. Uh, matter of fact, I think there's some kind of aerial bombing range right over here somewhere. When I was uh, researching all this on Google Maps, I did notice there's a giant bullseye target dug into the ground just over yonder past my car. So who knows, it might have been one of our proud American heroes who blew this little shack to smithereens. And it might have happened last week. It might have happened last year. It might have happened 30 years ago. Who's to say? Hardly anyone ever comes out here because, well, I'm not on the secret government base, but I am approaching the perimeter. Matter of fact, to get to this waterfall, I think you do have to actually enter the government base, but there's like an easement. You're allowed to do this. You're allowed to go to this waterfall. I'm not sure if that's because it has some kind of significance to Native Americans or what, or maybe they just want everyone to enjoy the beauty of a, well, the surreal beauty of a waterfall in this kind of landscape. Whatever the case, uh, I'm gonna get back in the car and keep driving to the waterfall. And I think, well, I think we're gonna be crossing into this bombing range anytime soon, yikes. Oh my God. <laughs> I told you we were on the border of this top secret government base. Yikes, it says warning, crossing an aerial bombing range. Stay on the road and do not go beyond the falls. Well, I guess it's cool that they allow people to come onto this top secret government base. Oh my gosh, I'm on the base, look. I mean, it says to close the gate behind you, but well, this gate is totally busted. It's one of those barbed wire cattle gates that you just stretch across from one side to the other and it's supposed to hook onto the other side, but well, it's completely broken. I don't think I could hook this up even if I wanted to. And it was open when I got here. But yeah, check it out, I'm on the base, man. I just, well, I stopped my car right halfway through and I just walked forward. <laughs> We're on Area 51. Not Area 51, we're just in the Nevada Tustin Training Range, I think is the name for the... You have to look at it on a map. It's a huge chunk of land. Looks like the falls are just right up this road. I'm gonna get in the car and keep on going. Wow. That is pretty friggin cool look at this waterfall i didn't think it'd be possible for there to be a waterfall in this well just to remind you what we just drove through really barren baking hot dry kind of sagebrush desert and these mountains don't even really have trees on them it's just kind of scrubby little bushes so how is there an actual waterfall coming down this far this is wild. Nevada never ceases to amaze me. <laughs> Let's see if there's actually any water flowing down. I'm not sure. It looks like it might be mostly dry. Oh my gosh, yes, look, it is. It's running. Holy cow. <laughs> it's a waterfall. Lobby a monkey's uncle. Now I've seen everything. A waterfall in the desert on the secret government base. And it's a pretty decent flow too. I mean, look at this coming down this mossy rock. Look, there's even like little dandelions. Oh my goodness, I never see dandelions in the desert. Coming down from somewhere up there. And we'll definitely hike up and try to find the source, but for now, I'm curious to feel how cold this water is. It's actually noticeably cooler uh, in the shade here. So my car is parked back out there in the sun where it was like 86 degrees. It was pretty hot. Uh, like when I was poking around that old mining wreckage, it was hot. But here in the shade by this waterfall, it's actually almost kind of chilly. Really exceptional. I guess I should note that I, I'm here on May 17th. So I don't know if this is a seasonal waterfall or what. I mean, it's not like it's snow melt. This mountain is obviously not high enough to get snow. So there's gotta be some little spring at the top. And I guess maybe that just pumps it out year round. Speaking of pumping, you can see here the little pool at the bottom of the waterfall. There's some pipe laid into it. Oh, but it doesn't really go anywhere. Just dead ends here. So I'm not sure. Maybe at one time 
Somebody had some grand ideas of plumbing something, but oh my goodness, it's just so beautiful out here. Okay, I got distracted. I gotta see how cold this water is. I'm actually kind of afraid to put my, oh, actually it'll be nice to put my feet in because I got dirty when I was exploring that mine. Woo! Ha! Ah, now that is refreshing. Let's see. Oh my gosh, yes. And it's all mossy. This is so beautiful. Look at those little like, little plants and aren't these like nettles? You know, like first of all, there's moss and then there's almost like, kind of like a little watercress type thing. And then that, that looks like nettles to me. And then there was a whole bunch of them over here on this side. Yeah, aren't these nettles? I think those might be stinging nettles. I better stay away from them. I didn't realize there were stinging nettles in Nevada until I was at some other location. <laughs> I can't remember where and I accidentally brushed up against them. And I found out the hard way that there definitely are stinging nettles in Nevada. And today I found out there are also waterfalls in Nevada. And I guess of course there's waterfalls in Nevada up north over by Lake Tahoe. <laughs> Beautiful waterfalls up that way. But out here in South Central Nevada, really more Southern Nevada, this is exceptionally rare. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my car and put on my hiking boots and try to scramble up there and see if we can find the source of this magical desert waterfall. Okay, got my boots on. I moved my car a little bit farther back uh, to a flat spot so I can camp here tonight. It doesn't say you can't camp here. And I feel like no one's gonna bother me way out here. So it should be an awesome, peaceful night. Now I wanna hike up to the top or as close as I can get to the source of this waterfall. But as I was hiking back towards it, I noticed something else. To the right of the waterfall, look, there's like a tunnel or an adit or something going into the side of the mountain. Now, what could that be? Okay, you know we're gonna have to poke our nose in there. No way I'm gonna let a creepy opening into the side of a desolate mountain on the edge of a bombing range go unexplored. Oh, look, it doesn't even go very far back. It's just kind of like a cave. Wow, that's cool. I bet it is literally very cool in here. Let's see. Oh gosh, it is already just approaching the mouth. Oh my gosh, several degrees cooler. Wow, I wonder if there's any bats in here. <laughs> I guess I'll find out. Hello? Far out, man. I wonder what the purpose of this little cave is. If people lived here? I mean, this doesn't look, it looks like it was blasted out, you know? So I would guess it wasn't Native Americans. You know, this wasn't like a natural cave. The white man must have come in and blasted this cave for some nefarious purpose <laughs> or maybe just because he wanted a cool place to hang out i mean this waterfall would be a huge lifesaver um in this part of the desert i mean like i keep saying it's very very barren and arid sagebrush not really any super high mountains so you wouldn't expect to you wouldn't expect to see any waterfalls but well you know the native americans they knew where every, each and every watering hole and spring was and well this one here would have been really life-saving when the white man started crossing through this part of the country. Like I just did a video about the Death Valley 49ers, a group of pioneers that took a shortcut that ended up taking them through Death Valley to get to the gold fields in California. Well, they actually passed right through this area. They actually passed right through what is today Area 51, the exact Area 51. <laughs> well, back then, of course, it was just raw desert, but gosh, they might have even stopped at this waterfall to rest and get drinking water. Isn't that interesting? Okay, I know I probably shouldn't have climbed directly up the face of the waterfall because it's slippery and covered in super slippery moss, but I tried not to step on the moss. I didn't want to damage it anyways and just kind of climbed up the rocks on the side. Yeah, I'm sure you could hike up around the, the long way, but I don't have time for that. It's, you know, it's only going to be light out for another couple hours and I want to see the source of this thing <laughs> before dark. And I also don't want to be hiking up around a water source at dusk, you know, like it's probably mountain lions that come out here to drink and well they probably wait for prey to come up here and drink and then they pounce on them and I don't want to be that prey. I mean just to give you an idea of what we just did we climbed up that super steep part at the bottom and now we're kind of climbing up these stair steps following this little waterfall it's kind of like a creek coming down this ravine I guess you would call it and it looks like it comes up into a flat area up here. It's like a little forest. Look at this. Oh my goodness, this is just 
beautiful. Oh my God, look how juicy this watercress is. No wonder animals come here to eat. Huh, that reminds me, gotta be alert. Mountain lions, I come in peace. I know you're hungry and I'd probably be a juicy meal, but not today, please. Gosh, look at this. It's just a beautiful little creek coming through this gorgeous little thicket. Well, I guess I can just keep hiking up. If the mountain lions don't get me, the stinging nettles will. Whoa. So I have to be real careful not to touch any. Oh, wow. Look, I don't even know what some of these plants are, but they're very unusual for Nevada. Yikes. Yikes, okay. Now we're out into another opening. Look at this. I guess this is the source of the waterfall. Oh no, look, it's not. I thought the top of that dark spot was where the water was coming out, but you probably can't tell, but there's like a little ledge there that it's coming out from behind. So it is, it's coming from even higher up. And it doesn't look like I'll be able to get up there from here. So I'm gonna have to, well, I'm gonna have to figure out another route, which means I'm gonna have to hike all the way back down that way I just came, yikes. But before I do that, let's just go to the pool at the base of this. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's an actual pool. I mean, it's shallow, but it's a pool. Oh, look at the little droplets of water falling on it. Look at all the moss on the bank coming all the way down the side of the rock. Wow, look at that. It's, it's a genuine waterfall. Yeah, here you can see it's coming from a, even higher. Uh, feels like it's raining <laughs> in late May in Southern Nevada. Oh my God, I cannot be trusted on my own. You guys will never believe how stupid I am and what I just did. Okay, so I was down there at the base of the waterfall and well, I could have just hiked back down the way I came and it would have been sketchy going down that bottom part and then I would have had to go all the way around and come up the top. So I just decided to climb straight up this rock face and it's not a sheer face, obviously. I mean, I'm not saying I'm Alex Honnold or anything like that, but that was, it was pretty sketchy. And add to the fact that I'm carrying my phone on a friggin' selfie stick. Okay, I'm almost at the top though. I did make it, obviously. This video is not being broadcast from the afterlife, I don't think. Although it's so beautiful here, it might as well be. Oh my God, I can't believe I made it up here. I'm at the top, well, the top enough to where now I can at least climb down a much safer way but I still don't know how to get to the source of this waterfall. I guess I still have plenty of daylight left. I'll hike around a little bit more and try to find it. Guess I just gotta go up. Oh man, I think I'm cliffed out. I mean, there's my nice safe car way down there. I've been kind of scrambling up whichever way I can get up this rock face and I keep thinking it's gonna open up and become easier but it's not. So unfortunately, I think the smart and adult thing to do is to stop and just climb back down. I don't know if there's even a way to hike up to this waterfall. I hate not being able to see the source, but well, maybe some things are best left secret. You know, what if it is a sacred Native American site and uh, it's, it's like a thing that's not meant to be seen by human eyes. And the, the young brave who dared try to climb up to the source of the waterfall and find its secrets befell, well, a terrible fate befell him. You know, it could be one of those situations. And so even if I did make it to the source of the waterfall, you know, it could be like Pandora's box, or it could be like the, the apple of knowledge in the Garden of Eden. Once I saw the source of that waterfall, I would never be the same and not in a good way. Okay, that's just what I'm gonna tell myself to assuage the disappointment of not seeing the source, but it's a pretty good theory. Anyway, before I climb back down, I might as well just enjoy the vantage point from up here. I mean, look at that. We're staring straight into the secret government base. Uh, that big bullseye I was telling you guys about is over there somewhere. Let me zoom in. It almost looks like there is something kind of weird in the distance there. I can't quite make it out because there's a glare on my camera. I'll check this footage out when I get home and see if it looks like anything noteworthy. Definitely something man-made over there. I wonder what they're doing. It's like that Tom Waits song. What's he building in there? What are they building in there? Anyway, that is a pretty cool view. I mean, it's not often you get to 
see a beautiful panorama in the secret government base like this, let alone perched on the side of a friggin' cliff. Don't say I never took you anywhere fun. Whew! Made it back to terra friggin' firma. That was gnarly, even by my standards. Let me just turn around and remind everybody and myself of what I did and what not to do again. Here's the base of the falls. Uh, I mean, it doesn't even look that high to climb up to where all those bushes are, but even that was kind of sketchy. And then once I got to those bushes, I think I just barely climbed, well, see how there's kind of like a whitish color there? Right along the top of that, I think that's pretty much as high as I got through all that scrambling. I mean, you look at this stuff and you go, oh yeah, it'd be easy. You just hike up this gradual slope and then you hike up that. No, it gets real sheer up there. I would not feel comfortable trying to hike back up that way. And I don't even think I'd be comfortable hiking up this way. Yeah, it looks gradual there, but then you get to that rock stuff and it's nasty. I'm just gonna stick to my theory that the source of these falls is not meant to be viewed with human eyes. Okay, I'm friggin' exhausted. It's time to relax. Okay, so you probably already guessed that I wouldn't give up that easily on trying to find the source of this waterfall, cursed or not. So I did. This morning I got up and I hiked all the way up that gradual looking slope off to the right. And I came up and around and up and down and... Oh my god, the echo here is amazing. Woo! <laughs> Man, this is some desolate country. Anyway, I think the source of that waterfall is probably down there in that green copse of trees because this is that cleft that it comes down through. But to get down there from where I am, well, it just seems like a pretty steep scramble and not something I should attempt when I'm out here by myself. And also I'm hiking without any water or <laughs> bear spray or any kind of security device, stupidly. So I'm just gonna call it the source, and this is actually a win-win because I'm sort of seeing the source without actually seeing it, so I won't be cursed. Anyway, I guess I'm just gonna hike on back down now very carefully because it was pretty sketchy getting up here. And I'm gonna console myself with the thought that I'm actually doing the right thing by not looking at that waterfall. And I'm gonna take the words of a very wise group of women to heart. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. I know that you're gonna have it your way or nothing at all. But I think you're moving too fast.